Hi, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network. Today I'm with Lupitico's Managing Director, Joe Walsh. Hi, Joe, welcome to the network. Hello, Jessica. So for those who aren't familiar with Lupitico, can you just give us a quick introduction? Lupitico was listed uh, in 2016 and is a lithium exploration and development company. Uh, we've made rapid progress in advancing our proprietary technologies and are in the process of developing our first pilot plant. Great. So, Joe, before we talk about your projects, just tell us about your process technology. Our central process technology is LMAX, which extracts lithium carbonate from lithium mica and lithium phosphate minerals. Uh, LMAX has been developed over the course of around the last four years, and today we actually announced that it has uh, been complemented with a new process te technology called LOMAX, which produces lithium hydroxide. And we're looking to integrate LOMAX into the back end of our pilot plant project and also our phase one plant project. Additionally, it's important to note that our LOMAX technology produces lithium hydroxide without the production of sodium sulfate, which is a byproduct for many uh, lithium chemical processes and is getting into a situation of oversupply. Sounds like it could be a game changer. Now can you tell us about your LMAX pilot plant? Our LMAX pilot plant is being built in Perth in Western Australia. It's on schedule and within budget and should be commissioning in April of this year and operating in May. It will include the LOMAX technology, which will allow it to produce both lithium carbonate from the LMAX circuitry, but also produce lithium hydroxide. Now let's dive into your projects. Can you tell us about the Alvaroche project? The Alvaroche lapidolite mine is an existing mine in northern Portugal. It's been operating since 1992. It's owned by a Portuguese private company called Grupa Mota, and Lapidico has an ore offtake arrangement uh, with the owner. We drilled out a resource last year, and we did some further drilling um, at the end of last year. We should be um, estimating a new mineral resource for Alva Roche by the end of this quarter. The objective is to expand the existing mine and also build a small concentrator that will produce a lipidolite concentrate for export to our phase one plant, chemical plant in Sudbury in Canada. Staying on the theme of Canada, can you tell us about your project, the phase one project in Sudbury, Canada? We originally um, committed to the pro project in Sudbury as a result of our main reagent being sulfuric acid and there are two large nickel smelters in Sudbury that collectively produce about a million tonnes a year of sulfuric acid. Uh, the phase one plant project is a demonstration scale facility that will produce approximately 5,000 tonnes a year of lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide, seeing as we're now looking to use the LOMAX process technology. The byproducts are planned to be sold locally. Uh, we produce both as um, SOP fertilizer and also an amorphous silica product, as well as the lithium chemical. Wonderful. Now let's talk about your strategy. Tell us about that and how it's progressing. So Lapidico's strategy is relatively straightforward. Our objective is to become a vertically integrated lithium chemical company from mine through to production of lithium chemical, in this case, lithium hydroxide and in so doing, demonstrate the commercial viability of our process technologies. Thanks, Joe. Now for a comment on your share price. So 2018 was a challenging year for many lithium equities. The spot lithium price was under pressure. But I'm glad to say that Lapidico in the second half of the year um, and made a number of positive announcements with the commitment to the pilot plant and also more recently the um, development of the Lomax technology. And I'm glad to say that shareholders that have invested in our last three capital raisings are all well in the money. And just lastly, Joe, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Lapidico is well funded for the development of the pilot plant in Western Australia and also for the phase one plant feasibility study and Lapidico offers a unique opportunity to get involved in the development of a new lithium chemical company. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, Joe Walsh. Thank you, Jessica.